this day last year, we were under a wind chill watch for a couple of days. Not quite the situation today. 67, 68 degrees for our highs. That's a good 10 degrees above normal. And then overnight tonight, we are quite a bit more above normal. 51 to 52 degrees for our overnight lows. Those clouds will kind of help us keep some of that heating in here. And yeah, 37 degrees is our norm. So it doesn't feel like Christmas time out there. And despite that, we are only five days away until Christmas. So we're getting there and we will have cooler temperatures on Christmas day and later than that, but leading up to it, it's not gonna feel very familiar. It's gonna feel almost like fall or spring. But sunrise this morning was 7.23 a.m., 5.25 p.m. for sunset, and you get a full moon tonight. So at least there's that, something we can hang our hat on. Water vapor shows our features that we're dealing with right now. You see one disturbance here that's brought in all the clouds. We do have some sinking air behind it that will help to kind of clear us out for a little bit, give us a little bit more sun later today, warm those temperatures up. Our next disturbance, this is gonna be what moves in later in the day Thursday into the first half of the day Friday. So that's our first disturbance. And then you see that swirl, that's our upper level system that will be moving in to bring more storms Saturday night into Sunday. So the biggest story, while we could have a few stronger storms on Sunday, and I'll be kind of talking about that in a moment, the biggest story is gonna be the rainfall amounts, two to three inches possible east of I-45 here. And most of our area, I think, is looking at the one to two inches kind of range for, for rain. Now, one to one and a half possible as you get into Palo Pinto, Stephenville, Hamilton, Gatesville there. But I think for the most part for our area, an inch to two inches, localized three inches possible. But yeah, further east you get, heavier rain amounts are possible. The good news is this won't be coming all at once. This will be, this says through Sunday. So through the end of the day Sunday, this is what we'll get. So this will be in two rounds. Again, that's gonna be overnight, uh, Thursday into Friday, and then Saturday into Sunday. So here's how things time out. 67, 68 degrees, excuse me, 67, 68 degrees. Uh, I haven't had anything to drink yet today, so my mouth is very dry, I apologize. 51 overnight, 65 tomorrow, should be a couple of degrees cooler just due to all the cloud cover. And then 54 overnight as we get our first round of rain, Thursday night into Friday. Most of Friday looks dry and we could see some sun as well. So we get a break, 67 Friday, 53 overnight, 68 on Saturday. Again, we'll be warming up Saturday because the rain won't start until the probably the evening hours. But yes, showers and thunderstorms Saturday night through the at least the first half of the day Sunday. We always see these showers and thunderstorms, the, the moisture from these storms kind of linger in our area, especially along and east of I-45. So I can't say that we will definitely be done by noon, but it does look like it's gonna be mostly in the first half of the day. And I mentioned the possibility of some stronger storms. Sunday, I will be watching that because for one, we will be getting the storms in the morning, which does mitigate any kind of chance of, of severe weather but it will be a strong system moving into a very humid and somewhat unstable air mass. So I will be watching that just to make sure that none of these storms get out of hand. But for the most part, I think it's just gonna be rain, a few rumbles of thunder, and that should be it. Now we're clearing out Sunday afternoon, Sunday evening. We should be clear for uh, most of the, uh, the morning festivities and you might be, hearing, <laughs> might be hearing some laughter in the background. Kids are having a good time. But on Monday, Christmas day, we should be done with all of this. We should be to the point of partly sunny skies, I think, 60 degrees that day. Some of us may not even reach the 60s. It will be breezy out there as well. So it'll feel sufficiently chilly for Christmas day. Still maybe a little bit warmer than normal, but hey, you can't argue with that. Unfortunately, it won't be a white Christmas, but we'll at least be a little bit cooler. It won't be close to 70, like on Christmas Eve. And then Tuesday, we're down in the 50s. So next week does look cooler. So at least as we're getting into the new year, we will feel a little bit cooler there. And right now, no big major cool downs in the forecast. There's already some uh, screenshots and things going around of the really the middle part of January for a big Arctic plunge coming in. But I guarantee you this forecast alone has changed enough times just in the past week don't be looking at any of the hype talking about a big Arctic plunge in the middle of January because we're just too far away to hang your hat on that. So warm today and then rain moves in tomorrow night. Another rain, another round of rain, excuse me, Saturday night and into Sunday. And then it's Christmas time and we're warmer than usual, just a little bit, but hey, 
will take that over a Christmas in the 70s. Stay tuned over the next couple of days. I will be bringing updates on the rain chances as well as the holiday forecast as we are just five days away from Christmas Day.